hey, folks, I, I, I noticed a couple of signs. One over there says Q killing jobs in America, and then there's another one about Q saying putting everyone out of work, P-E-W. Now, I'm surprised that people are saying that because they said recently they're there to help us. Uh, how, could, how could we be saying this kind of thing when they're there to help us? Lies. Fact, they care so much that they feel that several years after most of you go out of business, they are going to wish you the best of luck in coming back and picking up where you left off. It's the kind of people they are. We appreciate that. They'll get no vote. Jimmy's going to introduce another congressman who is a very, very active in our fisheries issues. Jim? Thank you, Ray. Uh, my congressional district, I happen to live in a, a little spot there in South Jersey around Little Egg Harbor, which is a beautiful, beautiful area. Beautiful area of New Jersey. I gotta tell you, I love living here. The fishing and the hunting is great. And I had the pleasure of meeting John Adler when he was a state senator uh, working in Trenton. Always was a great advocate and a good listener. If we had a problem, John would actually sit down and analyze the problem, get back to us. Always very responsive. We were pleased, the RFA, to back him up for his, uh, his race for the House. And he's been doing an outstanding job of outreach with his staff and uh, working with us. And he's one of the original co-sponsors of Mr. Pallone's bill. So let me uh, be proud here to introduce Congressman John Adler from New Jersey. Jimmy, thank you very much. You've been a great friend. The RFA is a great advocate for all fishermen. I look around at the thousands of people here. You could be home, but you came here because you're worried. You're worried about yourselves, your families, your family businesses, your industry, and our great country. It's crazy to me as a newcomer here in Congress to think that flawed science would shut down one of the most vital industries in all of America. It's a disgrace. We can't help it! I heard Mr. Michael from Florida a few minutes ago talk about how you gotta go to offices. And you heard Mr. Pallone talk about the science that all of you are carrying. I fish, I vote. I've been here a year and a month. I know how people play the games here. But can I give you half-truths? Can I tell you part of what you want to hear? you got to have every member of Congress, every senator, give you a firm commitment. Yes, I will vote for flexibility. Yes, I'll undo the harm that's about to happen with Magnuson and un unnecessary restrictions. Go to every one of us. Give, get a yes commitment from every one of us or harm will follow. I know where I am. I'm a yes for you. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. To each and every one of us, the citizens of these United States. And I come from a place one of the oldest and most storied fishing ports in the United States of America, Gloucester, Massachusetts. A place where for hundreds and hundreds of years, men and women have gone to sea against the tides, against the winds, against the waves. They've hauled nets and sleet and hail and driving snow, and they've done it to pull back the balmy of the ocean to support their families and to feed the citizens of America. And we're not going to let them down. That's right. That's right, baby. Years, mothers and fathers have brought their sons and daughters to the edge of the ocean and thrown a line in to catch a fish and to teach them about conservation and the cycle of life and the importance of having respect for the environment. And we aren't going to let them down either. That's right! So we're here, we're here from Massachusetts. We've got people from New Bedford, from Green Harbor, from Plymouth, from Gloucester, from Boston. And we are so proud to stand here with people from North Carolina and South Carolina Florida. and Florida and Georgia and New York and New Jersey. Louisiana! And Louisiana because at the end of the day, we are all Americans. Yeah. Yeah. And as Americans, we're called upon at this moment in history to be stewards of this resource. And unfortunately, the Magnuson Act, which was envisioned and created with the great promise of being a shield for Americans who wanted to fish, has become a sword. And if we don't change it, it will slay us. But we're not going to do that. Because we dream of a day when we rewrite the Magnuson Act so that we don't lose jobs overseas when they don't need to go there. That's yes! Right. There, you go, there you go! And we're going to rewrite a Magnuson Act 
that uses the truly best available science, not the arbitrary and the biased and the influence science that's driving what we're seeing today. Talk to us, baby. And we want a Magnuson Act. Talk to us. We want a Magnuson Act that stops the moral crime and indignation of wasting fish because of arbitrary rebuilding limits. That's what we want. And we want a Magnuson Act that says that in the middle of one of the worst recessions this nation has ever seen, we are not, we are not as a federal government or state governments going to extinguish one job that doesn't have to be extinguished. Yeah. Yeah. People that work hard every day. That's right, baby. There you go. So here's what it's all about. It starts with one bill today. And remember, I come from a place where the shot heard round the world was fired. And today, with your words and your actions, we are firing another shot for fairness and transparency and accountability in the American way. And it stands for one thing right now, flexibility, so that the rules make sense, so that they're not biased, so that we're not forced into corners that we shouldn't be in and so that, yes, together, we have the freedom to fish in a united way. So we stand in support of this bill, and I can't tell you how honored I am to see all of you, each and every one of you, standing here for that proposition. It starts with flexibility today that came as a result of all of the rebuilding efforts, all of the sacrifice that our constituents in Massachusetts, and many of you, you've lost homes, you've lost cars, you're losing your jobs. It stops today, and it starts with flexibility. There's one other thing. There's one other thing. I've been involved in these issues for over 20 years, and I have very rarely seen the recreational side and the commercial side stand in unity on the steps and the lawn of the Capitol. We're here. Yeah. We're here today. We're here today, baby. We're here.